And your weather headlines for the day, sunny and seasonal here on the western slope, primarily a bluebird afternoon. Not much is going to change overnight tonight. Another C, C, and Q kind of night. Clear, calm, and quiet conditions expected tonight and sunny and hot to end off our work week thanks to a strong ridge of high pressure really in control of our weather, weather pattern here on the western slope where there is absolutely no weather happening. Gorgeous conditions, maybe one little area of some light sprinkles just to the north of Rifle up on top of the flat top, but really the area of active weather in Colorado this afternoon on the northeastern side starting to fill in throughout all of the eastern plains. We've had scattered uh, showers, thunderstorms, even a couple of reports of confirmed tornadoes. We've had two tornadoes in northeastern Colorado, one in Weld County, one in Lincoln County. Both were on the ground for around three minutes. Also, I've had numerous reports of large P to dime size hail, as well as locally gusty winds and brief heavy downpours, all associated with these showers and thunderstorms, likely going to remain active on the eastern side of the state through around 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. The Storm Prediction Center really nailed almost the bullseye of where the active weather will be in Colorado this afternoon. Kind of a line from the I-25 quarter north to the south and then everywhere to the east of that. Higher dew point, higher relative humidity values, basically more energy and umph in the atmosphere allowing those showers and thunderstorms to produce severe weather. But besides the eastern side of the state, really Colorado is gorgeous this afternoon. Anyone wanting to get up into the high country, roads are uh, reporting dry conditions statewide. Vail Pass down to the south in the San Juans and Silverton. Glenwood Springs as well as Grand Mesa. Highway 65 at 10,000 feet. Things are looking A-OK. -okay. Still dealing with some wildfires down in the southwestern portion of the state. The large one, the 416, 35% containment and over 35,000 acres have charred. Now they did have some pretty impressive uh, moisture totals over the last weekend, so certainly did help the firefighters battling these blazes. But unfortunately for the remainder of our work week here on the western side of the state, a prolonged warm and dry weather pattern is in the forecast. And they're pretty much in ground zero for the driest conditions in the state in southwestern Colorado under exceptional drought criteria. That is the highest level that the United States drought monitoring system System does create. We could also use some moisture here in the lower valleys. Grand Junction currently in a deficit of over an inch. Typically, we should be at about 4.13 inches. Yeah, just over three on the season, as well as Montrose at two inches exactly. They should be at 4.71 inches, and yeah, they're in a deficit of over two and a half inches of rain. Numbers outside right now, upper 80s, Junction, Montrose, lower 90s in Delta. Your forecast overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Not much happening. The spine of the divide and to the west, once again, strong ridge of high pressure, really in control of our weather pattern for the foreseeable future. Overnight lows tonight, seasonably mild in the mid to upper 50s. Clear and quiet conditions. Afternoon highs tomorrow. 80s across the board in the lower valleys. Another round of sunny days. Also, what we're counting down, the summer solstice begins June 21st, Thursday at 4.07 a.m. Sunny and hot to end the work week. Slight changes into your upcoming weekend. That's it for weather. Stick with us. We'll be back.